What's up guys and welcome back to Overkill Gaming, your home for high-end gaming, whether it's PC, PS5, or handheld. How many times I gotta say it? We got you covered. Today we have something to share with you that we feel is truly special and could potentially take Windows Gaming on the Steam Deck to a whole new level. Anyone who has tried using Windows on the Steam Deck knows just how tricky things can get when it comes to controller support for non-Steam games. Here on the channel, we've shared several methods, namely Glossy and SWICD. But what if I told you that there is something even better out there? An app that not only provides controller support for games outside of Steam, but also makes it incredibly easy. Not only that, what if I told you that it, that it gives us the ability to do something in Windows that up until now was really only available in Steam OS, and that is controlling the TDP. Yes, I believe we have found the holy grail of Windows gaming on the deck, and we, have, we are happy to share this with you today. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you, Handheld Companion. First off, big shout out to the developers for creating this app. We will include links to their site where you can read about Handheld Companion and even support the project. The devs were kind enough to allow the Overkill gaming community early access to the software while it was in its pre-release stage. And big shout out to Mute, a key member of our Discord and a moderator who reached out to them and served as the bridge between our community and the dev team. We have been dying to share this with the world and we have finally been given the go ahead to do so. So here we go. But before we do, if you guys find this video helpful, please be sure to hit that like button and also consider subscribing to the channel so you don't miss out on future videos like this. We cover lots of tips and tricks, everything from how to dual boot to how to upgrade the internal storage. You definitely don't want to miss out on any of it. And also, if you have not yet joined our Discord, feel free to drop on by. Lots of great people over there. And we also provide support and assistance to the for the tips and tricks that we share in our videos over there. We do not provide support in the YouTube comment section. All right, so what is Handheld Companion? It's an all-in-one controller emulation app that allows for precise customization and even allows the user to control the TDP within Windows. It can be used with basically any non-Steam game, games from Battle.net, Epic Games, Game Pass, and even PS Remote Play. We are, we are still learning and playing around with this app, so consider this video more of an introduction and an overview of Handheld Companion, and expect more videos to follow covering more specific aspects of the software. Setup is very easy and straightforward. You simply download it and install it just like any other Windows application. And at the end, you will be prompted to restart your Steam Deck. All right, so now that we got everything all set up, let's go ahead and take a look at the settings. And the first thing I, that I really like about Handheld Companion is just how clean the user interface is. It's very easy to navigate. We have all of our options here on these tabs on the left. And right off the bat, you can see that it is emulating an Xbox 360 controller, but we also have the ability to emulate a DualShock 4 controller as well. And this is one of the things that sets Handheld Companion apart from SWICD in that SWICD was only able to emulate an Xbox controller. And if we wanted to emulate a PlayStation controller for use with PS Remote Play, we had to have another app running with it to emulate the DS4 controller. With this app, it's all contained in one app. So all you have to do is come in here and then you can switch between the different controllers that you can emulate. And then scrolling down, we see additional options here for vibration strength, which is related to haptic feedback and also the ability to enable or disable lizard mode. And for those who do not know what lizard mode is, it is basically how the Steam Deck functions as a mouse and you have the ability to turn that on or off. Basically, you need that to navigate Windows, but you don't want that turned on when you're in a game. So we'll talk a little bit more about lizard mode here in just a moment. Switching on over to the profiles tab. Here we have some options for creating specific profiles for different games. So let's say if you want to have one profile for, I don't know, Call of Duty and then another profile for 
Far Cry 6, you can easily set up those profiles here. And when the app detects that those games have been launched, it will load the profile that you set up for the game. And next up, we have the overlay tab, which gives you the ability to have a controller overlay on the screen while you're playing the game. I haven't yet tested this and not sure it's something that I personally would use, but for those who do like to have a controller overlay on the screen, you do have that option. Now, this is what I love most about handheld companion, the ability to map hotkeys to the buttons on the Steam Deck. For example, here you can see that you can actually map a button to control the TDP so that you can change the TDP with, with literally just the press of a button. Scrolling down even further, we see even more options such as being able to bring up the on-screen keyboard with the press of a button. So as you know, in Steam, it's very easy to bring up the keyboard. You just hold down the Steam button and press X. Well, I have it set up the exact same way here on my Steam Deck in Windows. I just hold down the Steam button and press X and it brings up the keyboard. And this is something that a lot of you are asking me about how to bring up the keyboard with a hotkey. Boom, there you go. You can also bring up the task manager. You can map a button to force an application to quit. You can enable or disable lizard mode, which I have set up here. I, all I have to do is press the R4 button on the back of my Steam Deck and I can enable or disable lizard mode very easily. And I'll demonstrate that for you right now. So right now we have lizard mode enabled. As you can see, I'm able to move the mouse cursor around the screen. And now we'll go ahead and press the R4 button on the back of the Steam Deck. And now the mouse cursor is disabled. And this is what you want when you go into a game. You don't want mouse inputs along with the other inputs in the game. It could cause what they call double inputs. And double inputs are one of the biggest issues that people have had with using Windows on the Steam Deck when playing non-Steam games. Um, and it's something that I got a lot of questions about. I got so many questions about it that I ended up making an entire video for SWICD, how to avoid double inputs. But this app makes it a hell of a lot easier to avoid having that issue. But scrolling down even further, we see that we, have, so we also have the ability to make our own custom uh, key mapping as well. So you have some preset key mapping up here. For example, if we want to display or hide the desktop, it's very easy. All we have to do is click on the button there and then press the button that we want to assign it to and you're done. Handheld Companion also features something called a quick tools window. And what this does is it allows you to easily access settings and functions from a side panel very similar to how it is done in steam os so as you can see here i just pressed the three dot button which is the button that i have it mapped to it brings up this side window and right here we have our tdp controls we can also change our resolution and our power mode from this side panel as you can see i have it set to performance right now but if I wanted to save a little extra battery life, I could bump it down to balanced or to efficiency. And this is why I say that handheld companion is a game changer because before now, it felt like the only way that we could have such ease of use on the Steam Deck was to use Steam OS. But now we have these same features within Windows. We can even adjust our brightness and our volume from the side panel. And yes, this side panel can even be brought up while in a game. As you can see here, we are playing high on life on Game Pass. And even while the game is running, we are able to bring up this side panel and make adjustments. And last but not least, we will go ahead and check out the settings tab here. And over here, you have the ability to check for updates and download new updates as they become available. I have also my app uh, configured to auto start with Windows so that when Windows boots up, H uh, handheld companion will automatically be launched and run in the background. I also have it set to uh, minimize to the tray when I hit the X button so that it continues to run in the background. I don't accidentally close it out. We also have a uh, theme selection. As you can see, I am using the dark theme here and then scrolling down even further we have several more options such as 
automatic start of the service when the app starts so that way you don't have to go in and tell it to start service there are also some sensor options uh, and that's dealing with gyro a lot of people used to ask me how to use the gyro and this seems to have that option in there as well but here is what's really important and this is power management down all the way at the bottom you have the ability to enable tdp control and power management for the steam deck running windows and like i said this is something that was previously only available in steam os and a lot of people wondered hey is it do we have the ability to manage power um in windows on the fly like we do in steam os and this app offers that capability all right so now let's take a look at a few games that we tested using handheld companion here we are in call of duty and as you can see even while in the game we can toggle the keyboard that is something that a lot of you guys expressed that you wanted to be able to do and you asked me how to be able to do that well guess what with handheld companion it's made very very easy and here we are showing off just a little bit of gameplay and as you can see the controls work perfectly fine and everything is running very very smoothly and next up here we are testing out handheld companion on a game pass game this is high on life and as you can see here as well the controls seem to be working perfectly fine everything is smooth as butter and by the way if you haven't already played high on life then i highly recommend you give it a try it is a lot of fun it is very funny and it's included in game pass and last but not least here is handheld companion used with playstation remote play here we are playing the last of us one remake and as you can see the controls work perfectly fine prior to this we used to have to use swicd along with dualshock 4 emulator to be able to use the steam deck controllers with the official playstation remote play app and windows on the steam deck but now everything is taken care of with handheld companion we don't need to have so many emulators running at the same time working together to be able to do this and one last thing you should know is that if you are using handheld companion when you're in the steam os ui and windows you're definitely going to want to make sure that lizard mode is disabled otherwise you may encounter double input so basically if you set up that hotkey to disable or toggle on and off lizard mode this should make it very easy just make sure you toggle lizard mode off before going into the steam os ui all right guys so there it is handheld companion in a nutshell i hope you guys can see why i call this a game changer big shout out to benjamin lsr casper h and max k the people who are behind handheld companion we will have their links down in the description so you guys can check them out and learn more about this amazing software and if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you leave a like on the video and also consider subscribing so you don't miss out on future videos like this lots of great content on this channel for the steam deck you definitely don't want to miss out on any of it and let us know down in the comment section what you guys thought of handheld companion and if you guys intend to download and try this out for yourself we're out of here guys we'll see you in the next one peace